What's up, good people? That's my Snapchat intro. Now let's get to this YouTube intro. Hey everybody, Siki here. I'm coming to you guys with another video and I am super duper stoked. I almost wanna go ha ha. Y'all know, I don't even know where I got that from. But anyway, I did YouTube Live and it was so amazing. I had so much fun with you guys. And in that video, I was just telling you guys that I missed you because I hadn't uploaded in like a week and I was letting you know what was going on with me as well as doing an unboxing on a bunch of makeup packages that I got. And I talked about some products that I got from The Bomb. And I was like, you know, The Bomb is The Bomb, just saying. But I was asking you guys if you wanted a video kind of dedicated to The Bomb because I thought it would be really cool because I got like. Like some foundation, I got a liner, I got some lipstick, some lip gloss, some highlighters, a palette that they just launched. Oh my gosh, just, you know, mascara, all that kind of stuff. So I asked you guys if you wanted to see a video on it, like a straight up dedicated as much as I can make it dedicated. And you guys say, yeah. So listen, I obliged and that's why we're here, okay? So I told you guys that I went to an event like on Snapchat and I told you on my video that I went to an event that the bomb had and they gave us this cute little bag and the goodies inside are what I'm giving away today, okay? You don't have to do anything special. All you have to do is comment on my videos like you usually do, like them, do all that stuff, you know what I mean? And I'm just gonna pick a random winner. But I'm gonna show you the palette because this is what we're gonna be talking about first. My eyes are already primed and um, the palette is called Meet Matte Adore and it recently came out, I think by the time you see this video, it'll be like two weeks ago. It's really cute. I don't know if you guys know about Meet Matte Nude and all the different matte palettes that they actually have. This is the newest edition. I think this is my first Meet Matte palette. I really do wanna use the blue one. I really wanna use the green one. I wanna use the black one. But I'm gonna go ahead and go with a very neutral look today. And let me tell you guys why I'm going with a neutral look. Number one, I'm gonna be using their liner, which is called Schwing. And it is so bomb. I talked about this in my live video too. It is, I used it one time and I was totally in love. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna do a separate video on how I do my wing liner. And I really didn't wanna use a deep color and then you can't see the wing. And the other reason I want to use the neutral shades in this palette is because I wanna know if this is one of those palettes that you can take with you like on a trip, you can take with you for the day, you can go from day to night. Especially, I wanna see if I can use this palette without pulling out any other eyeshadows. And I totally should be able to because I see like about five colors I could just use like right now without using anything else. So I'm gonna go into the shade Matt Jones. All right, Matt, this color is really like my skin tone actually. So we may need to go into Matt Williams. Okay, this is a little better. So far, it's not as buttery as I would like actually. And now they don't have a foundation, I don't think. They actually have a tinted moisturizer and mine is a little outdated. As a matter of fact, I actually got rid of it because it's kind of outdated. So I am gonna be using my NYX foundation, but I am gonna use their face powder to set it and see how that works out for my life, okay? Either Matt Russo or Matt Bernard. I think I'm gonna go with Bernard because it's more like my skin tone. <gasps> oh my gosh, I totally forgot to put a base on you guys. But in actuality, when I'm doing an everyday look, I don't put down a primer. I just put down like my concealer, which is what I did. And I set that. So I'm basically giving it to you like raw and uncut like I would usually do on an everyday look. I actually like this Matt Bernard color. This is pretty. Great for every day. Now when you're doing an everyday look, you guys, it doesn't look like it's amounting to much until you like get all your foundation and stuff on. It's just like really simple. Actually, that happens to me a lot with just eye looks, period. Like the eyes are just like, mm, it's okay. Yeah, you're all right. And then by the time you get that foundation and everything on, it's like, ba ba boom, bam, like you in there. But I'm thinking of going into this color Matt Johansson right there. And I'm a little nervous because it's very, very, bright but i may have to tone it down yep i'm gonna tone that down mm -mm. but i'm gonna go over that shade with that matte jones to kind of tone that down a little bit the thing that i'm gonna use for this liner is pretty much my handy dandy fingers all right and it is gonna be this liner which is the bomb but if you want the full scope of how i do my wing liner then you gotta watch the video okay now with this eyeshadow 
This eyeshadow look is super duper basic. They're not super duper pigmented. They're very, very, very light. Now, the other colors I told you that I would swatch a little bit. So let's swatch this black one. That is, I guess that's black. It looks kind of blue on camera, but that's the black one. And this is the blue. Let's see where I can put it right here. Uh-oh, I don't want it to spill. Now this one looks like it gave me like a little patchiness. So you can see it on my finger, okay? The blue one is pretty pigmented. And then let's do this green one. That is the green. Mm -hmm. And this is the brown that I used in my crease. Let's put that right here. I wanna do the one that I used on my lid, which is Matt Bernard. And so I don't know where we're gonna put him, but let's put him right here maybe. That's what I used on my lid. We are going to prime my face and I am going to use my It Cosmetics primer. It is Bye Bye Pores. And you guys see me use this all the time. Like you can see, I really use this thing up a lot. But I have a review video on this already, a comparison and a review. So now we're gonna go into foundation. And I told you guys that I do not have a foundation by the bomb. So we're going to use my NYX Total Control Foundation and I have a video on it already. And they totally recommend probably like six plus pumps for like, you know, full coverage, but I go in hard and I go like 20 so we're not gonna count today <laughs> no judging <laughs> I totally forgot to use my corrector so first we're gonna go on with the corrector and I am using the makeup forever corrector and it is in R50 I believe it is and just correct wherever you need to correct now on to the 50 shades of NYX foundation this is in the shade mahogany this is the elf blending brush you guys told me in one of my videos that I had to have it and praise the lord everybody they sent it to me now we are going to go into these concealers this is the um tart shape tape and it is in the shade deep and i love it i keep saying i need to get a lighter color and i do then i go in with my Too Faced better than sex mas mascara i <laughs> know i go into my Too Faced born this way concealer oh my lord okay now i can't smile because i'm messing up my application here like what is going on stop smiling okay Get serious, girl. I'm gonna use my RCMA powder to set, and I have a video on that too. And seriously, I feel like my back drag is playing tricks on me. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh my lord. I don't know if y'all even know that. I tell you guys I alternate between this and my Ben Nye, and I'm using this today. I'm gonna contour with my NYX contour stick. I love to blend this in with my finger, and I also use that Real Technique sponge too but it just gives me the most natural contour. Y'all see that? Oh, I love this contour stick. So we have to use this, the bomb powder. All right, let's whip it out. Let's whip it, baby. Let's whip it right. Okay, so I have two of them, guys. I have a dark and then I have after dark. And I need to open them and see which one will suit me best because I've never tried this and I hope it's great. This one is after dark. And I'm thinking that may be a little bit too red. This one is just dark. I think, yeah, I think this is better. For some reason, when I go a tad bit lighter on my powders, life works out like all the way right. Get that neck, hunty. This powder is actually not too shabby, huh? I like that, okay. Seem like you're doing something bomb. You're doing something the bomb. You're doing something. So these are highlight shades for different skin tones. And then you have a blush and then you have some contour shades. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this shade. I don't know how deep it's coming off on camera, but this is the deepest in the whole palette. So I'm going to go with this shade. I was going to use something else, but I'm like, oh my gosh, I totally have a highlight and contour palette. So let's see how it works on me. And I'm literally just dabbing my brush a little bit. And this is the Sedona Lace FB05 brush and I'm literally putting a little bit okay see that's good for me like that's good now if you're deeper than me I don't know if this palette will work for you 
but for me this is fine like that that gets me all the way right i don't need a lot now while i could actually use this blush i'm not going to use that because i have a blush here from them and i want to test it out there are a couple of blushes here there's one these are their in stain blushes and they are supposed to last all day i'm just looking at my monitor but they're supposed to last all day long it says long wearing and fall for the blush now what shade was it that i was so impressed with oh my lord what color is this one this is toil or tole and that is bright we are not going with super bright today this is the one we're going to go with that is the true color right there that's what we're going to use today a lot really comes off so i just need a little bit and i just like to place my blush right above that contour. I know y'all don't think that's a lot, but it's a lot for me. So I'm gonna go back in with this little sponge and I'm gonna blend everything together. They did send this palette that has all of these highlighters together, but I have all of these highlighters separate and I've had them for a while. So I'm not gonna go into this palette, but I did want you guys to see the palette. It is called the Manizer Sisters, right? That's Betty, that's Cindy, and that's Mary. Did I get that right? A, A, I got that right. These are the shades right here. Now, if you're my skin tone, then Betty gives you like a subtle highlight. That's why we're gonna go into two. But you see how Betty's like a little used and abused? Yeah, she's been with me. She's been rocking with me in a couple years. So I'm just gonna place Betty on top. And so you see how subtle that is? Like if you just want that, you know, glow from within type of look, then you can stop at Betty, like right there. Now, if you guys wanted to use Cindy, Cindy has more of like a pink undertone, but I'm not gonna use Cindy. I'm gonna go on top with Mary and Mary is kind of gold too, but she's just like a brighter gold, more like a yellow gold. And then Betty is like a bronze gold. So we are gonna just put a little bit on top of where we placed Betty. You see, it just steps it up just a little bit. Just a little bit, boom, boom, just a little bit. That ain't too shabby, the bomb. Okay, but I do have a lip swatch video on their matte lipsticks. I think it's called Meat Matte Hues. And they first launched eight of them, which me and Mini Me did a lip swatch video. And then I believe they expanded the line and I don't have those, so I don't have a video on it. But what I did get from the party was Read My Lips Lip Gloss. And then I got a Meat Matte Hues in Devoted, which I already have Devoted. But I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch this. And I'm not gonna wear this color. That's why I'm just swatching it for you But this shade is in devoted and they smell very very minty. They kind of smell like New York peppermint patties Okay, there's the gloss and there's the lipstick But I'm swatching those because I'm gonna be giving I think I'm giving those away and I wanted to swatch those because I'm not gonna wear those because I wanted to go nude today and I have a color by the name of Kabang. This is a lip gloss too, but it has like a little shimmer in it. It looks like uh-oh, girl, I think I'm going for that today. I'm not sure. And then there's an, I might do both. And then there's another one that says snap. Aw, snap. I, we're going with both of them. That's what we're doing. Oh my gosh. That smells so delicious. Oh, I think I found another nude, y'all. Oh my Lord. Oh yeah. Oh my, this is the perfect combination for me. This is the perfect combination. And this right here is the final look, you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up. And I will see you sooner than you think. <gasps> oh, and have an awesome, blessed day. Bye. Tiki Beauty, confidence is key. You know what I mean. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, Tiki Beauty makeover. Confidence is key, ladies, you know what I mean. Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we ain't playing games, it's the Tiki Beauty. Yeah, Tiki Beauty.